come out for him and they certainly did and he's felt the love when he and his ring walk coming into that, that, that arena I've never seen anything like that and it was a fantastic performance it was a really you know, top quality complete job that he did you know, from round one working behind that jerk gradually dismounted him Dillian White you know, took all the fight out of him and finished it in such style with a phenomenal approach Frank, what did you make of Dillian coming out as a southpaw? Yeah, they, obviously the tactics he was looking at but he was never going to outbox Tyson and you know that's a fact of life he never, I never felt he could do that so he had to try and take Tyson out of his strike and the only way he could do that was, uh, was to get inside and every time he got inside he was, like, he was, you know, he was doing what he was trying to do rough him up taking take Tyson out of, his, out, of his, out of his stride and it just didn't happen Tyson absorbed it all and you know he's, he's just too smart for all these guys that uppercut to finish it Frank what a shot he can't punch everybody keeps telling me Tyson Fury can't punch go and ask go and ask Dillian that and also go and ask Deontay Wilder I've got two more factors. he's had a glittering career do you believe this is the end for Tyson look if it's the end it's the end that's his choice he's the guy getting in the ring it's he, if that's how he feels that's how he feels and I support him wholeheartedly do you think the only fight that could tempt him that would be the winner of Usyk Ajax to fall in dispute he said he's retired he's retired I mean, how are you gonna, you know, it's up to him what he does yeah. Frank first off congratulations on a historic thank you it's the biggest fight in British boxing history um, Tyson Fury um, is this almost a bit of a sad moment for you because when you put a fighter here it looks like he's getting better all the time you mentioned he's probably the best super early is it a bit of a, a bit bittersweet now that he's essentially leaving the spot at absolutely peak of his powers he is at the peak of his talent there's no doubt about it and I'm quite sure he can go on but if, he's, if your head's not right what I mean by that if your heart, heart or your head is not in it then it's dangerous and he should be doing it as I said at the press conference and that's going to be his choice you know who knows what's going to happen but if that's how he feels that's how he feels and we all support him without doubt in your mind is he the best heavyweight of his generation I mean he's got everything he moves like a welterweight I've never seen anything like it so by far by far by far he's the best heavyweight of his generation Frank, by far. We saw uh, Tyson say that you know, he will retire, but he's not all about extra or stuff like that. The way he spoke about you up there seems that you know he he wants to keep working with you. You know you brought him back from what was a very dark time of his life. We saw Francis and Garno up there on the ESPN stream. Um, if Tyson said, "Look, professional boxing, I'm done, but I want Frank Warren involved with the Garno fight in a cross platform thing," would you continue to work? Of course, I'll work with Tyson. Boxing? Tyson's the best. It's the best time I've had. It's been brilliant working with him. He's been, he's, it's a joy to work with him. You know, he gets it, he understands it, he's smart, and he can fight, which helps. You saw that we had 94,000 there tonight. I know you've yeah. had a few questions about the retirement already, but the winner of Joshua Usyk is you know, one of the biggest fights of all time. Um, there will be two ways in there. Steve, now, we, we know that Mike, you know, will change his mind. And John said, look, I don't think he's going to retire, but look, he's the A side. You would get to promote that fight. You, you must really. I know you say, Look, I don't mind if he goes now. He's had a good innings, but you must agree with him on that fight. No, I mean, I'd like to see him prove. Well, he, look, he's he's better than he's the better fighter out of all of them. To prove my to prove my point, so that everybody there was no doubt, I would like to see. It. But facts of matter, he has nothing to prove to anybody. Tyson Fury is the heavyweight of his generation. He beat Klitschko, who was the who was the best of his generation. Done a job on him, boxed his head off, and he then went to the states again in the other guy's backyard and done a job on the. Deontay Wilder absolutely, you know, won the free fights, really, got robbed. And Deontay Wilder was undefeated for, what was it, six years? Mm -hmm. Hardest punching fighter statistically, and also was the was a fact he was the hardest hitter out there. And, you know, Tyson's got nothing to prove to anybody. Frank, a, re a record 94,000 in there tonight. Yeah. Is there any indication on the pay-per-views for this? Is it all on no, track? No, we won't know for a couple of days yet. At least, at least a couple of days. And we saw uh, Tommy Fury call out uh, Jake Paul straight off where are fight. you Jake we want you come on you said you wanted to fight our man done the business tonight have you got the Kajanas to step up to it eh? that's what we want to see and finally what you know you've worked with so many top fighters over the years in terms of in and outside the ring where does Tyson Fury rank oh he's the best he's the best he's the best no doubt